Hello and welcome to the technical training for the Aladdin Mosaic Pixel 4x4. Today I'm going to introduce you how you set up the system to control individual pixels on the Mosaic 4x4 Pixel. So, first of all, the Mosaic Pixel 4x4 is a single light source. You have a dimmer, you have full control over the dimmer on the light and you can choose color temperature up to 10,000 Kelvin down to about 2,200 Kelvin or you dial in RGB, red, green and blue. But in this mode you only have full access on the Mosaic 4x4 as a single pixel. No pixel control, only one light source manually through the dimmer or through regular DMX or Lumen Radio or the app from Aladdin. When you want to start to do the, uh, the um, pixel control, you need to hook up the dimmer with a computer through a router because the Artnet connects through the Ethernet ports on the back on the dimmer and the dimmer is designed this way that you could stack them together with other dimmers when you have multiple lights like when you put four lights together you're gonna have four dimmers so you can daisy chain them from the ethernet ports hook them together so you have an easy readout of the IP address and all the information you need in this case we only use one light so to set up the system I need a computer to run my software if it is a simulate mad mapper matrix then I need a router to get the IP address to my dimmer so first I plug in the Ethernet cable to my dimmer I go into the dimmer and I choose my DMX mode I have to choose between three different modes Artnet, Loon Radio and DMX cable in this case for the pixel setup I choose the Artnet mode immediately it will ask me of the size of the, uh, the, um, the light source because it could be that we bring out different sizes with different pixel uh, sizes so this one is 7 pixels large and 28 high so when you look on the panel that's why it calls the mosaic light because it has individual uh, tiles and each tile is one pixel so it is 7 pixels 7 tiles large and 28 tiles high at the same time, important, it's completely flexible, the panel, so it's foldable. You can stick them together into bigger frames. A nice setup is 8x8 with four uh, panels together. And each panel has a power rating of uh, 600 watts. So, as soon as I um, set the size of my pixel, I push F2. And with the F2, it will get the IP address from the router. That's why we need the router to get the address uh, in the dimmer. And then the last one, F3, I can choose on which universe I want to start. Because when I have like four panels, the first one would be universe zero. The second one would be universe three, because each light has 196 pixels by five channels these are over 900 DMX channels per panel so this means you're gonna use two universes and each universe has 512 DMX channels so that's about the math for the panel then we set this one to zero we only have one usually take the address zero so it will use universe one uh, zero and one so then we move to the computer. I have, uh, in this case, I use the Mad Mapper to show we have uh, other softwares available like Madrix or Soon, probably Assimilate. Uh, in this software, the first thing I need to go to the preference 
and I go to DMX, so on the side, and then I define what is my input, uh, output, how, what signal I go out, SACN or ORTNET. In this case, it's ORTNET, then I choose my network. Uh, when you connect it by wireless to the router, there will be also the wireless network indicated here. In this case, and you want to control it by cable, I would turn off the, the wireless because uh, this can cause problems to have two networks with the same devices. So I choose this network, that's my uh, Ethernet port to the router. Then I need to add my uh, interface, my, my devices. So the first one is going to be for my Mosaic. So I check on the dimmer because he got the IP address. So I need to dial in the IP address 192.168.50.25. And since the light uses two universes, because I have to bring in the IP address for each universe, I need to create two sources with the same IP address because every universe needs a dedicated IP address. I usually put the maximum uh, FPS by 20 frame, 25 frames on the software and that's all about. So I start. Now I'm in the software. In the software I have different categories on this one. I uh, choose the light bulb here because I need to create the light source. So already we have some something going on here. So as it is, it choose a profile here. I'm gonna show you how to create the profile for our light source because it's not in the database of uh, Mad Mapper. So you go plus to create a new fixture. As I mentioned. It's seven pixels wide by 28 height. The profile we use is RGB white white. So this profile does not exist. So I go in advanced mode and I tell him I have five, uh, the pixel size is five channels. And the five channels are RGB and then it would be a white white. And the uh, alignment, assignation of the LEDs or this one, it goes from the uh, bottom right around. And I need to tell him, skip the last channels in the universe. Because when you make your math and you have 512 channels by five channels per pixel, it does not fit into 512. There are going to be a couple channels left over at the end, so we need to skip them uh, to the next universe. It's a very important point. You're never going to have a correct uh, display on your panel. Now I choose this profile here, full mosaic 4x4, that's the one we just created. What I usually do, I quickly check if everything is okay, so I bring it down to one of the size, because this now shows you now the top Pixels should disappear. Now the bottom should come in. Then also this should be the left side and this should be the right side. Exactly. So it looks like uh, correctly assigned it. What I see here is my uh, full uh, light with all the pixels. And now I can bring in different effects. I can choose the, the, the the dimming of the panel, I bring, can bring a video effects. Uh, I have like many possibilities. I can load in videos. In this case, I already have two movies inside. I can choose, and this is with the fall color, RGBWW on this page. What I like to do usually is I create one RGB profile. Then I go in and let's say in the editor, I create already prepared this. I have one um, fixture set up that calls Mosaic RGB. And this one is seven by 28 pixel. I do the custom. So I need to hook, hook this advanced uh, part here. And I just said RGB and I unused the last two white channels. Same again. 
you have the right routing of the LEDs and you have to skip the last universe to have it correctly displayed on the panel. Then I create a second light source, fixture, and I call this W for white. And in this one I choose the WW profile I created here. So what I did with this profile is I only use the RGB channels, the first three channels, and I only use the white channels. Now the man mapper has only the possibilities to display uh, white day as daylight white and no tungsten. So we reached out to Mad Mapper. Let's see if they will apply a white, a warm white, and a cool white. In this case, you could use only the the cool white, or I defined the the one white channel as uh, red or unused. Depends on your preference. You have to to do your own tests if this fits you. But the important part on this one is more that you get the um, ability to have individual control of color. So let's see. Then usually I group them in a group. Depends like mosaic, let's say top left uh, as a group when I have four together or top light or left or right. So mosaic L for the left one because usually when you do virtual production you're gonna have more than one light and uh, smaller studios green screen you're probably gonna use three lights and uh, bigger studios you're gonna patch them together to a bigger light source in this case now to to show you I have now these two lights so I bring them down to very small and what I now do I can like dial in the different channels can hmm? ah, here I have to do universe zero because they both need the same addressing that's a very important point so you have two light sources and they both need universe zero since we determined universe zero and as you see now we only have the tungsten going so I can choose this this one would be like for instance the red channel so the red channel is very strong on this one or I unuse this one and I only have the daylight going that depends on your color mixing what I would do or we define them both as white so we got a good mix of both of it uh, my best experience was always the tungsten as red and uh, uh, daylight as white but for this case, this demonstration. So now what I can do, I can dim the daylight, the white, and I can bring in the colors. So I have uh, individually control of the both worlds between RGB and WW. So this is only white, this is with the RGB, that's without the whites. So I can choose the saturation of the color, and I can bring in a high CRI, because when I only use the RGB, I usually have a lower uh, CRI because I only have the peaks in the color and not the full color spectrum. And that's one of the big downturns on LED screens. They only use RGB. And here on this panels, we have uh, fully five colors working and not only the RGB. Like firework is always a good demonstration because it's very colorful. Here we go. Now on this one I probably will turn off the whites and just have the RGBs going. Then I can choose where I want to position my light source. So usually you have like two or three panels and you position them differently on your surface. Then I can have in video signals, I can bring in a video card and have a HDMI signal into my computer and determine the input signal as my output signal on the light source so for instance when you work together on a production where you have a brain farm and they give you a video feed of the background so you can map on the background your light source wherever you want 
Then there are many features in this software, how you can define forms and trackings and stuff like this. But this is something you have to learn through MadMapper by yourself. For us, is the Artnet standard is a universal standard that works with other lights together. So you can bring in hard lights in uh, any shape and form you want because uh, the Artnet signal can be easily transformed into a DMX. Uh, five pin signal you just need uh, a proper routing of your signal uh, through a device so you could bind in like a evoke or a vortex and have uh, mixed light sources controlled from the same software on your stage that's about it to control the Mosaic Pixel 4x4 from your computer with MadMapper. We will do another video in the future where we're going to show how to use with a Simulate. And these are like the two softwares on the market and there is also Madrix. And MadMapper more comes from, uh, from the shows, from mapping buildings and stages with video projection and stuff like this and Assimilate is going to be a dedicated software to use on virtual productions that is made for also color correction and many things on uh, your video production. Exactly. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions please reach out to us. <laughs>